This is an odd pairing. Uh, well, I guess it's three, so it's more than a pairing. That's three devices on the table. You might be wondering what's the connection. Other than the fact that they all have a kind of a similar color hue to them. These are three phones that I've used recently or am currently using. So in the middle, of course, my SIM card is in that device. As of right now, that is the P30 Pro. It's flashy, it's fancy. It's got the crazy periscope lens setup for that wild zoom that you've seen demonstrated. Plus it's a quad camera array on the back. That's a similar situation over here on the Galaxy S10. That's the device I was using before this one. The camera unit is flipped horizontal. It's similar in the sense that you got a bunch of cameras. So triple camera setup on the back of here. That leaves this device on the right. This one in front of me is actually Kirk's unit. It's got a single lens setup. That's the Pixel 3, obviously. One camera in 2019. What's happening? How is that a thing? And why is this device placed up against these other two? Well, I'll tell you why. Because even though I've used these two devices most recently, I still at moments miss having this one in my pocket. That's right, the Pixel 3, a device released now a while ago in the smartphone universe. There are moments in which I rip out, peel out one of these guys to go snap a quick photo, and I still wish it was a Pixel in my hand. Now, that's not to say that these devices over here don't create incredible images, because they do. But typically, mostly, in, in any given scenario where it's just, let's take out a phone and let's snap a photo. This guy right here, the Pixel 3, still in this day and age gives me the most confidence to just pop it out, snap a photo, worry about it later. If you have limited time, if you don't wanna think about it, if you don't want to engage any of the settings, if you don't wanna tap your screen at all other than the shutter button, this guy right here, is going to more often than not give you a workable image, something that you're happy with. And the funny thing here is, it has less to do with this camera lens than it does to do with the software that Google's working with on their most recent release of the camera software for the Pixel unit. In fact, so much so, the OnePlus 6T, I actually was able to install Google's camera software, the Pixel camera software, onto the OnePlus 6T and get results that were way better than the built-in camera software on that device. Google is doing magical things in the camera software with the computational photography. And in my opinion, as of right now, that software can't be touched from a performance perspective. It creates very pleasing images. Why, why are we talking about this right now? Well, I'll tell you why, because I came upon a listing on Amazon for this exact pixel, the one that's in front of me in this pink color. Now granted, it's not super pink, it's mostly white. And the reason I'm talking about this particular model right now is because there is this Amazon listing with an incredibly discounted, refurbished version of this device. Although they're calling it renewed, it's a, it's a new thing on Amazon or at least something I haven't seen before, in which Amazon is certifying renewed devices with their own warranty and their own refund policy. But I found a listing for this exact device for $449. Now granted, I just said that on this video, so who knows if there's any left in stock at the point at which you're watching this. It might be the best deal in smartphones right now as far as I can tell. Now granted, th this is not the perfect phone. You got the big antiquated looking bezels on the top and the bottom. You got the fingerprint scanner in a more traditional location at this point. You're lacking a headphone jack, but at 449, just keep in mind, it's not a brand, brand new device factory fresh, but still. Now, if you're against this not pink color, the black version also renewed, Amazon renewed, is 469, I believe. Is that correct, Will? 467. So the black one, 467, you can pay a little bit more for that. But at the point of filming this video, this one right here, it's the best deal in smartphones, probably right now, 449 for a Google Pixel 3 at the time of filming this video. And the other benefit of going in the Pixel direction is something I've talked about in the past, which is the stock Android experience. So using these other two devices most recently, I go on there and I, and I, and I load up a launcher, right? In, or, in, order, in order to override the skin that's pre-installed on each of those devices. I don't do that on Pixel devices because I'm happy with the skin the way it is out of the box, the stock Android experience. Also on the Google side, you're going to get updates to the operating system, the fastest over the air. So many benefits to being in the Pixel universe 
And today's the day, if you've been waiting for a lower price point and you're cool with the recertification, you can read the terms for Amazon's renewed program and see if you're comfortable with it. But nonetheless, I thought it was noteworthy, a good opportunity to kind of reflect back on my experience with the Pixel phone in relationship to these other flagships that given this comparison are like almost twice the price now. So there it is, it's not pink, don't call it pink. It's just a great deal right now if you're cool with the Amazon renewed program. 449 bucks, you are going to snap some photos you're happy with, I guarantee it.